All right, so let's take another look at Marky since uh, many of you have several comments on my Marky review. Uh, you guys have notified me that they have added Pinterest, which is super exciting. So I'm gonna go ahead and log back in and we're gonna go, uh, go and check it out together. They definitely are pulling some really good reviews and a lot of people are buying this software. They're almost at 70 reviews right there, super cool stuff. I wanna go down here to the founder's message right over here. And they have the, we've heard your comments and are raising tier three from 25 to 50 brands. So if you're already at tier three, you will automatically receive this update. We're also releasing an in-app option to add 10 brands at a time for $100 a month. This is $50 cheaper compared to adding them individually on their daily plan if you were not at a sumo link. I like this. They're giving a 50% discount on adding more. So basically what this means is if you come in here and you add tier three, right over here, plan tier three, $300, you're now going to get 50 brands. And then if you want to scale this as an agency and you have more than 50 brands or 50 customers, then you would be able to add 10 more at a time. So you could technically scale this to 100 brands, 150 brands, and you would just be um, paying $100 for every 10 brands to manage them. So if you're a big agency, you may get up there to where you're spending 500 bucks a month but you're gonna be running over 100 companies' social media campaigns for them, and I'm pretty sure you're gonna be making a lot more than $1,000. I think the pricing is pretty good. I like when the software developers and the CEOs of these softwares are very fast and attentive to what the feedback on AppSumo from Sumo Wings are. And in this case, people were disappointed that they had somewhere in their advertising that there was 50 brands, and then they launched and they didn't have that. And that's something that I addressed in my review that I don't really like that, but they went and fixed that and the 50 brands are there. And then another really cool thing is that we can come in here and they've now added Pinterest as an option. So this has been shipped right now. And this is the number one reason why I'm logging back in and we're going to go check this out. All right. So I'm logged back in. If any of you watched the marquee review from earlier this week or last week, whenever it was, you saw these posts right here that were created. That's actually pretty funny right there. I think that this is better graphics and stuff that are being created. They're more unique and uh, visually appealing. We have more control over the colors and fonts and all that stuff. So I do this better than the other two Pinterest tools that I reviewed recently, including a pin generator. I think that these are creating better graphics, but the downfall was that it didn't create pins, but now supposedly it does. So let's go and check this out. I'm going to go and add my, so go over here to socials. We'll come through here and they have Pinterest right here. Look at this Pinterest now connect. So I'm going to go and connect this real quick. And we're already logged into my LearnWire account right here. You can see LearnWire. So I'm just going to say give access. So that was one click of a button and it connected to Pinterest. Choose your preferred Pinterest. So there was another one of those tools that connected uh, in a weird way. It didn't actually, I don't feel like it actually connected to the site, if that makes sense. In this case, when it's actually linking over and gra attaching to your login, that's a true social connection. And I like that when you're not having to put in the name of your connection or anything like that, where it's actually just taking you right over to Pinterest. In that case, we were already logged logged in to Pinterest. So it picked that one. So connect Pinterest, choose your preferred Pinterest board for posting. So I really don't have anything right over here. I'm just going to say probably my board or AI software, AI writing software reviews. Let's go with, for now, let's just go with my board and that's fine. And then I'm going to say continue and I'm sure we can change this later. I think I'm just going to need to make a catch all um, for just AI software tools. So AI generated title, Pinterest integration settings. So it's going to create a title for us. Okay. I'm going to leave that option on, but we can title them all individually if we want to. I'm going to push save right there. So that is it. Publishing schedule. We have Monday through Sunday at 10 a.m. right now. I'm on the free plan, but if I like what I see, then this might be a tool I am considering picking up specifically for Pinterest. And then I'm going to go over here and go to posts right over here. And I want to regenerate. So I'm going to generate more posts right over here. Okay, so it's not working for me. It's basically not going to let me do any more posts. So this is one of those moments where I'm going to have to go and buy the software in order to continue with the review. So I'll be right back. 
Okay, so I re-signed up. I signed up for tier one for now, and I have to redo this because if you guys don't know, if you test out a, a tool with a, a free plan and then you decide you're going to go buy it, you do need to use a different email address. So I have my strategy. I actually use my LearnWire email to do free to, to free trials, but then I use my personal email when I so actually sign up to tools. So I'm going through the sign up process again right over here, and they do have a nice seamless information, the tone of learn wires, information, transparent, analytical, it came, it pulled all this by itself. And it didn't, it, it literally populated all of this. So pause the video and you can check it out, which is really good. It, it just did really good uh, with my brand pulling in all this stuff. It really did a great job. So I'll just leave this at mid self promotion. So mid right there and then content topics. And I'm just going to push next. And then we can add another time right over here. We have not put in our, let's see over here. Oh, posting time per day. Yeah, I definitely need to just upgrade to the other plan right now, but we'll go ahead and just leave it like that and push next. All right, so I'm going to go and need to reconnect my social media account for Pinterest real quick. It's generating posts right now for us. I'm going to exit out of the tutorial, go to socials real quick and go connect real quick. So we're connected. I'm back to posts. We have this one right over here. I'm going to just take that this is a popular meme. And they pulled that, but then they made m unique to myself. So that's pretty cool. When people around you are still using outdated software, that is pretty cool. It's time to level up at LearnWire. We dive deep to bring you the nitty gritty on software that can stream on your business or honest and depth reviews, blah, blah, blah. And then it has all these different tags that it came up with. So I think that's pretty cool. So what we would do is we can post it now. We can schedule. Now we're only connected. So this is the part where I'm unsure of how this is working, right? Because we have Pinterest right now and I haven't hooked up anything else, but if I connected any of these other ones, then the connections that it creates, right? The posts that it creates are going to be different dimensions. So I'm not quite sure what that's going to look like. When I click back over here, this almost looks like it has a different dimension to it, if that makes sense. So if I post this now, is it going to post to... All we can do is publish and see what ends up happening. I'm just looking at this. Does that look like a pin size? And then, you know what? I'm just going to go and answer my own question. I'm going to go and hook up my Facebook account as well and see what kind of options we get. Okay, that was very seamless and easy. I've done a lot of these tools before where just this process alone is difficult and the connection doesn't work and so forth. And it can be a big turnoff. In this case, Marky is very seamless with connecting to your social media account. And so that's definitely something worth noting. Right over here, I just want to show you it is connected with Marky. I'm going to say got it right here. And we'll go back to Marky right over here. So now I have socials over here. I have two social media accounts connected. We have LearnWire reviews on Facebook, and then we have Pinterest as well. So I want to go back to posts and see what this now looks like. So we have our post here, but I don't know what, if I schedule this, where is it going to go? Post now, post next. Let's just go schedule. Post successfully. Great. You've approved your first post. Go here to see when will your when we will post it first. All right, so we'll go to scheduled, but then posting to all accounts. Okay, so this is actually going to post that to Pinterest and Facebook at the same time. Okay, so essentially it's not creating, I don't think, but what I want to do is it's going to go out in 20 minutes, but I want to actually go, oh, if we hover over here, we can actually do post now. I want to post this now and see what it ends up looking like. So po um, post published successfully to Pinterest and then posted to Facebook. So I'm going to go and check these out real quick. So I'm in uh, Pinterest right over here and just doing a little bit of action with complete automation, right? Ugly, ugly pins. I think you all agree. I guess I don't really care too much about my brand because I'm letting these really ridiculously ugly pins out there. And I don't really care because I a look at what's happening, trends and subjects. Look at this, 500%, 300%. We have all this stuff going on over here. And then if I go over here, look, monthly views, we've already had 444. Now I haven't had any followers or anything, but there has been some uh, traction worth noting right over here. We have impressions right over here. We do have pin clicks right here. Just by clicking a couple buttons and just sheer testing, it's doing something to our account. Nothing to write home about, of course, but still. I'm going to go and check out the profile and then go and look at this. All right. So we're going to look at the pin 
<clears throat> so it is creating, it's not the best. This isn't an optimal size. I wish that they would create unique sizes, like a pin size. This is not a standard pin size. This is like an Instagram size, Facebook size. It is a square and I definitely would like them to, and you can see that they definitely pulled from other, a very popular meme, because check all that out. But right over here, here's what the pin actually looks like. So this is good. Elevate your biz game with LearnWire's expert software scoop. So this one is more of a self-promotion to the LearnWire brand. Right over here, not too bad. And the image, if they click on the image, it will take them to my website. So cool. I, the only thing is I'm not really satisfied with the size of the image. It would be better if it was an actual pin size. And so if they're watching this video, hopefully that is something that they can improve and actually make. When we go back into Marky, if they would make it to where we can actually choose Basically, if they can make unique graphics for each social media platform, the size, you make unique sizes. Pinterest pins are definitely a different size than Instagram or Facebook post, Twitter image, all kinds of things like that. So that's what I would like to look for. But nonetheless, it is functional right now. We'll go check Facebook now real quick. Okay, so three minutes ago, we have LearnWire reviews right over here. It's time to level up. Boom. I think it works better as a, and I don't think like on this one, if I click on this, it's just going to open that up. So there's not going to be any link back. So on Pinterest, there's a chance to get people traffic back to your website on Facebook. It's not giving us that link, but you can also, that's just something that I think that if they want to take it to the next level, when we go to edit a post, we should be able to maybe edit it for specifically for Facebook, specifically for Pinterest, choose a, a pin size for Pinterest, go to Facebook, and then maybe leave our link in the description for the Facebook post, et cetera, et cetera. Another thing that I might uh, want to see is instead of this posting to all platforms, this one post, maybe it creates unique posts for every platform. So those are just a couple things, but overall, definitely functional and I'm liking it. Not too shabby right over here. So that's what the Facebook post looks like. We'll go back to Marky. I just want to go to posts one more time and look at some of the other generated posts that it created, make smarter choice. So right over here, the one thing that I would like it to do is it's very focused on just my brand and what I do, but really I want it to create software type reviews. So if you go to my site, LearnWire Pro, my content is reviews, right? So I would actually want to post these specific posts over here. And that's something that I liked about pin generator is that I'm able to go and I'm going to go log into pin generator real quick. Okay. And I got to remember how to use this. I'm going to go to generate and then I want to go over to let's the really cool part about this that we can enter in a URL right there, enter a URL or sitemap right over here. So I'm just going to say learn wirepro.com and push enter. And then I don't really want it to generate for all of my site. I want it detected site maps. We can come in here. We can go post site map right here. And it's going to only do based on the reviews that I've created. But then there's also a an option selected URLs to generate. So now we can come over here and let's just say I want for this last couple right here, right? And then maybe this, uh, we already did a lot on school. So we'll do one take. So then if I want those updated, just those sites alone, then we can go and generate pins again based on just what we selected right here. And you'll see all these ones right over here. So um, I think that's pretty cool. Um, these ones are very like, they. What, so the advantage of this is that they are the right pin size. That's creating pin sized images, but they're very cluttered. There's a lot going on, it's cluttered, and they're not really ready to post. So I will agree that they're really not ready to post. Yeah, they're just cluttered and the images aren't resized correctly and you would have to definitely do some work in here. So it's definitely not like a true auto poster. I do think that that's the difference between the two. I wish I could combine that feature over here and tell Marky exactly what pages I want it to create posts on. I'm not seeing, it's just automatically generating based on our website, but it's not really, and right now it's just very very brand specific, but it's not um, doing posts. It's not creating this content based on unique posts on my website, if that makes sense. But overall, it's got Pinterest now. I think this is a solid software. I think they've, they've got a ways to go to make it um, really good and shine. We need more options and things like that. But other than that, pretty good stuff. Just wanted to get this out there. Super cool stuff. And I will see you in the next video.